And yeah, pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm DeBork, and this is going to be a quick couple minute update on David Roth getting extended through the 2024 season by the Chicago Cubs. Where for him, David Ross comes in with a 105 117 managerial record, but you can't go by the record at all as the Cubs obviously moved on from the Rizzos of the world and the Bryants of the world, the whole shebang, as they are retooling this club, moving in new people, and now have the Horners, the Madrigals, just signed in Drelton Simmons, and are rumored to get some of the bigger name free agents still remaining as well. So it'll be interesting to see what this Chicago Cubs team is able to do as they continue to go through this offseason, because this team still has money, and after signing Simmons for $4 million, they still have money to play with. And they have Ian Happ, who I think is going to continue to get better as time goes on. Horner's a very good young infielder, so is Madrigal, like a David Fletcher-level infielder. And you got David Bodie, Patrick Wisdom, Frankie Schwindel, who came up as a diamond in the rough guy that just never got an opportunity as a top minor leaguer. So this Cubs team is an exciting team that if they continue to add to it, can definitely compete with the Brewers to win that NL Central. It is going to be a very fun thing to watch continuing as we have this race to kind of the beginning of spring training, March 17th and the beginning of the season, April 7th, to be signing all these people where I think the Cubs are going to be pretty active in the market where they started with the Drelton Simmons and extending their manager through the 2024 season. I personally think, <clears throat> just from watching the Cubs be able to have Wisdoms come up, the Swindells get the most out of them. You have Nico Horner come in and have success. You have Alonze come in as a pitcher and have success. Um, I think all those guys coming in and doing well, as well as even uh, the Ian Haps of the world, as well coming in and continuing to do well for the Cubs, I think all of that speaks absolute volumes to what David Ross is able to do. And once you're able to get him a roster that is more filled out around like they're doing this year, where they do still have Kyle Hendricks, they were able to add a very small pickup in most people's eyes that I think is going to be bigger than some expected. Wade Miley, who's a very good pitch, you good five, five and two thirds inning, and be able to give up three, four runs or less and keep you in the game location orders. They added Marcus Stroman. So they have the rotation. They could probably add another guy in the bullpen, but they do have a solid bullpen with uh, Rowan Wick, uh, Visc Visconzo, who can just fire the ball back there, and others, Cody Hurer and others. So they could probably add another cat in the bullpen, but the rotation's solid, the bullpen's solid. They're a team that I think is going to add some of the premier free agents. I wouldn't even be surprised if they try to add another pitcher in both the bullpen and starting rotation. But they got money to spend. They start by uh, getting a drug to Simmons and extending the manager to 2024. This is a very smart move by the Cubs. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above and easy to use widget to see more sports news around the NBA, NHL, NFL, and of course the MLB. Peace out everybody and stay safe.